questioning my life decisions already. YOLO? Question mark? Today on Crafts on Crafts, we're thinking outside the box. But, I mean, not too far outside the box, because we're, we're literally thinking about the outside of the box. So, like, here's the box, and here's us. This craft is a box. Yeah, this craft is a box. Since we're obviously going to be thirsty while we're decoupaging, we're going to make a little box wine sangria. So I've chosen to make white wine peach sangria because... I like white wine better than red wine. And yeah. Step one, find something to put, make sangria in. But I don't own a pitcher. So I decided to just make it inside the box. So let's start making sangria. Typically you'd usually want to make your sangria like the night before you serve it to your own mouth. But I'm impatient and bad at planning ahead. And I mean really just ain't nobody got time for that. So, I'm making it right now. Deal with it. Uh, okay, so, um, the first step, cut a hole in your bag and hope for the best that this doesn't make a huge mess all over your kitchen. Now, we're gonna add fruit to our wine. I have opened this can of peaches. This is peach sangria, because that's summery and it goes well with white wine and I don't know. I have bees in my freezer for making smoothies. Mango and strawberry. So I'm going to put these inside to, you know, have a party with those peaches. You know when you have like just a bunch of random food in your fridge and you're like, oh, I haven't eaten all this produce and meat and stuff. I don't eat meat, but you know, imagine that I did. And then you're like, oh, I should really do something with that before it goes bad. So you make stew? I don't know. This is a thing people do, right? I don't cook. Sangria is like the alcohol equivalent of making a stew. Really like anything fruity in your fridge. Okay, so basically like fruit and juice. I'm also gonna add about half a bottle. How big is this bottle? So about half this, half a liter of lemonade or like some amount of lemonade. This is also gonna depend on how drunk you wanna get. Like what's the ratio you want of alcohol to non-alcohol. Next, you're gonna wanna add some sort of fruity liqueur. Um, peach schnapps. I've also done it with tequila before and like it was awesome. By awesome I mean also regret inspiring. But I have this triple sec because I made margaritas last week. If you haven't watched that video then you should. There's like three ounces left in this so I'm just going to pour that in. The next step in making white wine sangria is to taste it. I'm an adult. Let's get crafty. So today I'm going to show you how to make your own decoupage glue. So what you need is some sort of jar to put it in. You're going to need two parts glue to one part water. I have 150 milliliters of white glue. So I'm going to need 75 milliliters of water, right? Whoa, I've been out of school for way too long. So you're going to pour them into the jar, and then you're going to shake it up, and voila, decoupage glue that's all ready to go. And then you're just going to need a paintbrush to paint this on your project. Easy as pie. Is pie that easy though? Really? So I'm just going to be decoupaging a box that I found in my room, like Santa and stuff all over it. I'm going to be keeping my jewelry in it. I just cut out a bunch of pictures from magazines and stuff. You can do this really well with wrapping paper. Tissue paper works really well with decoupage actually. So that's an option too, but I'm just doing it with funny pictures of Amanda Bynes and Grumpy Cat. So, first step, take your picture. I'm going to start off with a super classy picture of Miley twerking on Santa Claus. You want to paint decoupage on the cardboard, slap the picture down, and then you're also going to want to decoupage on top, and it's going to give you like, it's going to seal the picture in, and you're just going to keep going like this with each new picture. I hope you're not card bored yet. So the aesthetic I'm going for, it's like aspirational. Some people have a vision board, but I have a vision box, so I have like, um, things like this. This. There's things that like I aspire to have more of in my life. This. 
And then, you know, there's like this. So not only was the outside of this box covered in Santa Claus and Christmas things, but so was the inside of the box. So I've decided I'm going to cover the inside of this lid with Harry Styles' beautiful face. Because you know what? I figure this might be my one and only chance in life to have Harry Styles in my box. I'm sorry. I had to do it. Had to make that joke. So this is pretty much the final product. It's Harry Styles in my box. It's Harry Styles in my box. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And then subscribe to my channel. Bye, bye, bye.